Ever wondered how Google's safe browsing protection works in real time without compromising your privacy? Well, it's a fascinating blend of technology and privacy protocols. Google's safe browsing feature is a crucial part of Chrome, designed to protect you from threats lurking in the vast expanse of the web. Recently, Google made a significant enhancement to this feature, enabling it to operate in real time. How does it work you ask? It revolves around a server-side list where Chrome checks to see if a site is safe or not. The best part is, this entire process happens without sharing your browsing habits with Google. It's a big leap forward in keeping your online experience both secure and private. This real-time browsing protection is a testament to Google's commitment to safety without sacrificing speed or privacy. Intrigued? Let's delve deeper into how this real-time browsing protection actually works. When you visit a site, the first step Chrome takes is to check its own cache. This is to see if the address or URL of the site you're visiting is already known to be safe. Chrome is like a vigilant guard, always on the lookout for anything that might pose a risk to your online safety. Now, if the visited URL is not in the cache, there's a chance it may be unsafe. This is where Chrome steps up its game and initiates a real-time check. The process is similar to a detective investigating a case, seeking out clues and following leads. Chrome starts by obfuscating the URL, following URL hashing guidance to convert the URL into 32-byte full hashes. Think of it as disguising the URL to maintain your privacy. The full hashes are then truncated into 4-byte long hash prefixes. This is like condensing the information into a smaller, more manageable form. Next, Chrome encrypts these hash prefixes, transforming them into a code that can't be easily deciphered. It's like putting your personal information in a safe box before sending them off to a privacy server. This privacy server is a key player in the process. The privacy server is perhaps the most interesting part of this whole process. This server is like a vigilant gatekeeper, ensuring that your browsing habits remain a secret while still performing the essential task of maintaining your online safety. To understand the role of this privacy server, let's take a step back. When Chrome determines that a real-time check is necessary, it prepares the URL for the journey ahead. It obfuscates the URL, converting it into 32-byte full hashes, and then truncates these into 4-byte long hash prefixes. These are then encrypted and dispatched to the privacy server. Now this privacy server isn't operated by Google, but by Fastly, a CDN and Edge computing specialist. This is a crucial point. Fastly's oblivious HTTP privacy server, which powers this operation, sits between Chrome and the safe browsing server acting as a buffer of sorts. But what does this privacy server actually do? It plays a bit of a magic trick. It takes the encrypted hash prefixes sent by Chrome and removes any potential user identifiers. What this means is that any data that could be used to trace back to you is scrubbed clean. Your browsing habits remain your own, unseen by prying eyes. Once the identifiers are removed, the privacy server forwards the encrypted hash prefixes to the safe browsing server. It does so via a TLS connection that mixes requests with many other Chrome users. This mixing further anonymizes your data, ensuring that your browsing habits blend into the crowd, indistinguishable from the rest. Fastly's privacy server is built to anonymize users' metadata while still being able to exchange data with a web application. Importantly, Fastly does not see these URLs either, because they are encrypted by the browser, using a public-private key that Fastly has no access to. So thanks to this privacy server, Google's safe browsing service should never see your IP address. Your browsing data remains a secret, even as it travels through the internet to ensure your safety. And then, it's over to the safe browsing server. Once the safe browsing server receives the hash prefixes, it gets down to work. Let's unpack this a little. The server takes the task of decrypting these hash prefixes. It's like solving a complex puzzle. But for the server, it's just another day at the office. Once the decryption is done, the next step is to match these hash prefixes with the entries in the server-side database. This database is like a vast library of all the unsafe URLs known to Google. This process is crucial because it helps identify whether the URL you're visiting is potentially harmful or not. Now let's imagine a scenario where the server finds a match. It means the website you're trying to visit is listed as unsafe in Google's records. So what happens next? The server doesn't just stop at finding a match, it goes a step further. It returns the full hashes of all unsafe URLs that match one of the hash prefixes sent by Chrome. This is like giving Chrome the complete picture of the potential threat. Now it's Chrome's turn to do some checking. 
It takes these returned full hashes and compares them against the full hashes of the URL you're visiting. It's like double checking to ensure no mistake was made during the process. And what if a match is found during this check? Well, Chrome doesn't want you to walk into a trap unknowingly. So it shows a warning, alerting you about the potential harm the website could cause. This way, you get to make an informed decision about whether to proceed or not. This intricate process happens in real time, ensuring you're protected every step of the way, without any delay. And the best part? All of this happens without Google getting a glimpse of your browsing data, thanks to the privacy server. And that's how Google ensures your browsing remains safe and private in real time. It's like having a personal bodyguard, always on the lookout for potential dangers while respecting your privacy. It's a complex process, but for Google and Chrome, it's all in a day's work, keeping the internet safer for everyone. So, in a nutshell, that's how Google's safe browsing protection works in real time. It all begins when you visit a site. Chrome first checks its cache to see if the site's URL is already known to be safe. If not, a real-time check is initiated. The URL is then obfuscated into a 32-byte full hash, which is truncated into a 4-byte long hash prefix. This prefix is encrypted and sent to a privacy server. This is where things get exciting. The privacy server, operated independently by Fastly, strips out any identifying information from the browser request. It's a privacy service that anonymizes user metadata while still facilitating data exchange with a web application. This ensures that Google's safe browsing service does not see your IP address. The encrypted hash prefixes are then forwarded to the safe browsing server through a TLS connection that mixes requests with many other Chrome users. The server decrypts the hash prefixes and matches them against the server-side database. If a match is found, Chrome will show a warning. Fastly on the other hand, won't see the URLs because they're encrypted by the browser using a key that Fastly doesn't possess. This is a key aspect of the system that ensures user privacy. This is a significant leap in ensuring user privacy without compromising security. Stay safe out there, folks.